buzz in keys. Let's get this show on the road. From the Sony Pictures Studios, this is Jeopardy! Here he is, the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trevet. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy, everybody. Have fun, and good luck to all of you. Thank you, Alex, and hello, folks. This is game number 113 of my run of Jeopardy 2003 for the PC. And my total is $5,261,000. Title, Film Females. Things I Wish I'd Said. And here's the final category. Native American Folklore. We'll see. Player one, you start us off. Uh, this president's first lady for 200. Barbara. Player one. Who is Bush? Precisely. Pick again. First lady four. Mamie. Player one. Who is Eisenhower? Hey, you're correct. First Lady Six. Rosalind. Player One. Who is Carter? Exactly. First Lady Eight Hundred. Nancy. Player One. Who is Reagan? Hey, you're correct. And First Lady Thousand. Betty. Player One. Who is Ford? Exactly. Things I wish I'd said, 200. In 1983, he said, we at Chrysler borrow money the old-fashioned way. We pay it back. Player one. Who is Lee Iacocca? He's the one we were looking for, yes. Things I wish I'd said, 400. Attributed to Samuel Goldwyn. Any man who goes to one of these people ought to have his head examined. Player one. What is a psychiatrist? Exactly. This was in Dan Melia's second game. Things I wish I'd said 600. Touch a scientist and you touch a child, said this Martian Chronicles author. Player two? Who is Ray Bradbury? Yep. Yes. How about the 1940s for 200? On May 13, 1940, this Prime Minister told Britain's House of Commons, I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears, and sweat. Player three. Who is Winston Churchill? Ah. Uh. Exactly. The 1940s for 400. Popular songs of the decade included Tennessee Waltz and Deep in the Heart of This State. Player one. What is Texas? Definitely. Things I wish I'd said 800. John Buchan defined this kind of skeptic as a man who has no invisible means of support. Player two? What is a pessimist? I was just... No, it's not a pessimist. Player three. What is an atheist? Oh. Exactly. Let's go for lit happy for 200. In a H.C. Anderson tale, a girl has no luck selling these on a cold New Year's Eve. Player three. What are matches? Ah. Definitely. Lit happy for 400. She wrote Daisy Fay and the Miracle Man before fried green tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe. Player two. Who is Fanny Flagg? Oh. Precisely. And he's out of the hole. Again. How about title film females for 200? We liked Sally Field. We really liked her as this textile worker and union organizer. Player three. Who is Norma Ray? Oh. That's who we were looking for. Title film females for 400? Young Backwoods Woman, played by Jodie Foster in a 1994 film. 
Player three. Who is Nell? Exactly. Ah. Title film females for 600. Tippi Hedren stole the show as this title kleptomaniac in a Hitchcock film. Player three. Who is Marnie? Ah, right. Yes. Marnie. Title film females for 800. Bette Midler played this title flower in 1979. Player one. What is the rose? Exactly. Things I wish I said a thousand. P.G. Wodehouse defined it as the only one real cure for gray hair. It was invented by a Frenchman. Player one. What is the guillotine? Yes. I don't even know how she came up with that. Lit Happy 600. Her story, The Lottery, was first published in The New Yorker in 1948. Player two, who is Shirley Jackson? Oh. Exactly. <coughs> Lit Happy for 800. This shocking Alvin Toffler book refers to the anxiety caused by swift technological change. Player two, what is future shock? Hmm. Yes. Lit happy for a thousand. In a 1995 autobiography, this star of Frasier told of his life so far. Player one. Who is Kelsey Grammer? Precisely. All right. Pick again. Sign up film females a thousand. Answer. Okay. The Daily Double. Did you make your wager, please? 800. One of Sybil Shepherd's early roles was this Henry James Daisy abroad in Europe. Player one. Who is Miss Daisy? No, no, sorry. So I was wise to go they small. Go it was Here's Daisy Miller. Response. I couldn't, I, I didn't think it was Daisy Buchanan because that's the great Gatsby, I think. Uh, Native American folklore, too. From the Ojibwa word Ototoman, it's the animal or plant a family group associates with its ancestry. Player three. What is a totem? Exactly. Huh. Native American folklore for 400? According to the Hopi, this wild canine related to the wolf was around before there were people. Player one. What was coyote? That's the critter oh, we're yeah. looking for. Folklore 6. By simply displaying this item, also called a calumet, one could call a truce between some tribes. Player 2, what is a peace pipe? Hmm. Exactly. Native American folklore for 800. This title of an Algonquin medicine man now refers to popular tribal gatherings. Player 3, what is powwow? Oh. Yes. I'll take the 1940s for 600. Things developed rapidly after this Edwin Land camera went on sale in 1948. Player one. What is candid camera? Good answer, but no. sorry. That's wrong. Player two. What is the Polaroid camera? Oh. Precisely. Like again. The 1940s. For 800. In May 1941, the Bismarck, a battleship of this country, sank the HMS Hood. Player three. What is Norway? Oh, we're not Norway. Norway. Player one. What is France? No. No. Nope. Sorry. I'm going backwards now. Anyone? Player two. What is Germany? Hey, you're correct. Oh. The 1940s for 1,000? 
On July 1st, 1946, the U.S. detonated its first atomic bomb since World War II at this swimsuit atoll. Player one. What is bikini? Precisely. Pick again. And the last and one? to wrap up this board. These giant mythical birds were frequently at war with water monsters. Player three. What were the Thunderbirds? Exactly. Okay. Okay, that's it for the Jeopardy round. Kind of an okay first round. I went small on the Daily Double this time, and I'm still in the lead with 6,000. 3,600 for player two and three. You're still in the thick of it, player three. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for Double Jeopardy. Here are the categories for the Double Jeopardy round. We have... File under the letter M. Hmm, we'll see. Email. Might do well on that one. It's a jungle out there. Musically inclined. A cliche from this sport. And a look at our last category. World Capitals. Oh, world capitals for 400? At 420 feet, Montmartre on the right bank is this French city's highest natural point. Player one. What is Paris? Hey, you're correct. World capitals 800. This Haitian capital was <clears throat> founded in 1749 by the French, who named it L'Hôpital. Player one. What is Port-au-Prince? Exactly. World Capitals 1200. This Greek capital city's port, Piraeus, lies on the Saronic Gulf. Player one. What is Athens? Definitely. 1600 World Capitals. Among the parks in this Costa Rican capital are Morazan Park, Bolivar Park, and John F. Kennedy Park. Player one. What is San Jose? Precisely. Pick again. World Capitals 2000. Thank you. Okay. Okay, we double. Did you make your wager, please? Well, you know what? It's still early, so true daily double. This South Korean city was chosen in 1394 as the capital of the kingdom of Chosen. Player one. What is Seoul? Hey, you're correct. Got it! <laughs> File under M, 400. For kids and teens, doctors recommend three glasses of this a day. Player one. What is milk? Precisely. Pick again. M, 800. A type of lizard or a desktop computer necessity. Oh. Three. What is a monitor? Yep. I hit it Definitely. too early. I'd like Musically Inclined for 400. He's no one trick pony. This singer wrote the screenplay and score and starred in One Trick Pony. Player two. Who is Paul Simon? Hmm. Precisely. Pick again. Musically Inclined for 800. The songs Circle of Life and Hakuna Matata frame the first act of this musical. Player one. What is the Lion King? Yes. File under M1200. This egg derivative is almost always found in a tuna fish sandwich. Player two. What is mayonnaise? Oh. Exactly. I'll try. It's a jungle out there. For 400. A large knife whose name comes from an earlier Spanish word for mallet. It's handy for cutting jungle pads. Player one. What is a machete? Hey, you're correct. File under M1600. Thank you. Okay. Did you make your wager, please? I don't think I'll do it again. Um. 
5400. False eyelashes are an alternative to this type of makeup that can be waterproof. Player one. What is mascara? Exactly. I could have gone, gone all in if I wanted to, but I wanted to hold back. M2000. It's a spice or a trademark name of a tear gas spray. Player one. What is mace? Yes. Uh, a cliche from the sport, 400. Hit below the belt. Player one. What is boxing? Exactly. Cliche, 800. Par for the course. Player one. What is golf? Yes. Cliche from the sport, 1200. Threw in the curb. Player one. What is baseball? Precisely. Pick again. Cliche 16. No holds barred. Player three. What is wrestling? Ah. Yes. Let's go for email for 400. Okay. On chips, he played punch. Player one. Who is Eric Estrada? Precisely. Pick again. Cliche 2000. Not pulling one's weight. Player two. What is rowing? Oh. Yes. Let's try musically inclined for 1,200. Peter Schilling's Major Tom continues the story of the astronaut in this singer's hit Space Oddity. Player three. Who is David Bowie? Why was Precisely. I thinking that? But I hesitated. Again. Let's try... Why did I hesitate, it's I should say? the jungle say. out there for 800. The length of this South American water boa may exceed 30 feet. Player two. What is an anaconda? Oh. Definitely. <clears throat> it's a jungle out there for 1,200. About two-thirds of this river's 2.3 million square mile tropical rainforest lies in Brazil. Player one. What is the Amazon? Precisely. Pick again. It's a jungle out there, 1,600. Six-letter term for the thick covering formed by the tops of trees and vines where many animals live. Player three. What is the canopy? Oh. Hey, you're correct. I'll take email for 800. This rapper's The Marshall Mathers LP became the fastest selling rap CD in history. Player two. Who is Eminem? Oh. Exactly. Email for 1,200. Double play partner to Tinker and Chance. Player one. Who is Evers? Hey, you're correct. Jungle 2000. In 1863, French archaeologists began uncovering the temple of Angkor Wat in the jungles of this country. Oh. Player three. What is Cambodia? Oh, I would have said Vietnam. Precisely. Pick again. I'll try Musically Inclined for 1600. In the 1970 hit comedy, The Owl and the Pussycat, this singer was the title feline to George Siegel's Owl. Player two? Who is Barbara Streisand? Oh. Yes, it was her. So pick again. <coughs> Musically inclined for 2000. Upon the September 7, 1978 death of this man, Kenny Jones became the Who's new drummer. Player two? Who was Keith Moon? Oh. Exactly. I'll try email for 1,600. Go ahead, make my day, and tell me the name of this actor who played partner and paint your wagon. Player one. Who is Clint Eastwood? Yes. And the last one? And the final answer of the round. Around 1,000 AD, he named the North American coast Vinland. Player one. Who is... Erickson. Hey, you're correct. Leif Erickson. I was going to say Eric the Red, but I don't think they would have took it. That's the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores once again.
Player one, you've got the lead. 37,800 for me, 12,400 for player two, 10,800 for player three. It's over. It's that time, folks. Final Jeopardy. We'll take a look at the category, then give you a few seconds to think about your wager. And it is? Rocket Science. Okay. Go ahead. Make your wager. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player two, your wager, please. Player one, please make your wager. He would have... He would have 24,800. So I'll go 12,200. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. <clears throat> Good luck. Thank you. In 1919, the Smithsonian published his paper, A Method of Reaching Extreme Altitudes. Who is Robert Goddard? I kind of had an idea. Let's see how everyone did. Player three. H. G. Wells. No. No. I'm sorry. What's that going to cost you? Everything. Your question. Jules Verne. That. Nope. Incorrect. What was your wager? Twelve four. Your question. Robert Goddard. Right, you are. Yes. What was your wager? Twelve thousand two hundred for fifty thousand dollars. Congratulations to our winner. Makes the math easy, five million three hundred eleven thousand dollars. One. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Come back and see us again real soon, won't you? Bye, Alex. Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just take care of a little business, then we'll get to our game. Let's take a look at your stats. So, 50,000 for me, another good game as well. And five and my run goes on. I'm already in the triple digits. Now my goal is to make it to 150 wins or maybe even 125. Just to kind of like keep things in perspective. So, I got out front, didn't really look back, suffered a bit of a lull after the first daily double despite the fact that I did go small. And I could have gone all in on the second daily double if I wanted to, but I did not want to outsmart myself. So, 50,000 a day, not quite as much as some other games where I've hit six figures, or even very early in the run where I was using the clue history site on every single category. But I'm not gonna but I'm gonna try not to do that from now on. Or at least I'm gonna try not to do that from now on. And once again, I like to think I did so. Didn't really use it, other than final, just in case my memory failed me. I did have an outside thought that it was Robert Goddard. That was true from the get-go. I'll say that right now. So, anyway guys, thanks for watching. That's 113 wins. And remember, subscribe, You'll and stay tuned for my recap of the Iron Man Motocross finale. We got a week off before Super Duper begins, or Super Motocross, the playoffs, begin at Charlotte. So, with that being said, thanks for watching. And remember, subscribe, and I'll see you all again for Game 114.